Hey, what's up guys? This question was recommended in the YouTube live streams for GCSE that take place every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And it's a pretty tricky iteration question. It's worth five marks, so definitely on the higher end. And this is basically a grade nine question. So at the start of day n, the number of cells being used in an experiment is Tn, and then the next day it's Tn plus one. And they give you the formula Tn plus one is Ktn, where K is just some constant and it's positive, which should make sense because our answer should always be positive in this. And it gives us a few of the values for t, and then also a ratio, and we have to work out the value of m, give your answer correct to three significant figures. So it might seem really complicated, but once we broke it down, it was actually pretty easy. All you need to do is start utilising the information. And this is what you should do in every GCSE maths question, by the way. To give you information, write an equation for it. So we know that t1 is 250,000, that's all well and good. So 250,000. And then... I need to work out an equation for T3, so to do that I need to actually go through T2. So T2 would just be K times 250,000, right? So 250,000, I missed out a zero here, 250,000 K. And the value for T3 is going to be 250,000 times another K, I keep doing that, 250,000 K squared because all we've done is times by another k and that's pretty much all the information they give us they do give us the fact that t7 to t4 is m to 1 but since we don't know what m is it's a bit of a useless piece of information for now so what we might want to start with is actually we want to work out what t7 and t4 actually are right that would be a really important inf uh, piece of information to get so to do that we need to work out what k is and to do that what we're going to do is we know that T3 is equal to 490,000. So what we're going to do is divide both sides by 250,000. I did the same thing again. And we can actually cross out all of these zeros because they're common in both. So we're just left with 49 over 25. So to work out what K is, we're just going to take the square root of that. Now, it tells me that k is a positive constant, so I'm only taking the positive solution for this. And that's it. Now all we need to do is work out the expression for t4 and also t7. So let's do that, and I'll show you how to do that pretty quickly. All we need to do is get our calculator open, and we're going to actually write our expression. So first of all, we'll start with 250,000. That's not right. 250,000 equals, so that's now our answer button. And then k is 7 over 5. So our equation is 7 over 5 times answer. So this is going to be t2. That's t3. That's t4. So 686,000. Let's quickly write that down. And then t7. We're just going to press it a few more times. So t5, t6, t7. And that is 1.8 million. So let's write out that number. We have 1, 8, eight two three eight four so now if we write this in the form of a ratio we're going to have one eight eight two three eight four to six hundred eighty six thousand so in order to get this to one we just divide both sides by six hundred eighty six thousand in order to make sure the right hand side equals one so let's do that and that's going to be what our value of m is so we're going to take this value, divide it by 6, 8, 6, 1, 2, 3. And it says give your answer to 3 sig fig. So that's 2.74. And that's the answer. That's a five mark question. Again, it did kind of overwhelm quite a few students. However, once you break it down and just realize the fact that if you just write out the information in terms of equations, you'll actually be able to get to the answer for most GCSE maths questions. But anyways, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one.